Okay, so let us perform some, you know, transfer between accounts. Um, I'm going to duplicate this, okay, this number six, oops, not copied, copy, and paste here, I call it send minted token or transfer tokens, okay, zero eight transfer tokens, okay, so I'm going to come here and I'll clean up this. So we'll start from this place. So what are we doing here? We just want to send something simple. We can say that before we do this, we can say log. I have to specify an amount to say const amount. Yes, I want to send about five tokens. So I can use back tick to interpolate so sending amount dmc to to the recipient account which in this case will be this okay so this is an ongoing tax you can put an emoji right here if you want to so i'm just making it a little bit you know beautiful <laughs> so have sending an amount of token to that person all right so now when you have to transfer token between accounts they have to be a source that is the account which you're transferring from and the account that is what receiving so those two accounts are necessary in this um in this transaction okay so let's let's jump let's get it done so we say const token source so the token source is who are we transferring from so we do you know be, the account <laughs> We want to specify the account. We, if we do have, an, you know, some of this DMC token, you know, that will be us. You know, where we want to, we'll be transferring from us. Okay, so we want to transfer from us to another. You understand? Just watch what I'm doing. So we'll call it await. Remember, what, what, where we can just as you know apply or specify the recipient. ATA, we can we can just do recipient AP ATA. So for example, if if for example, it, okay, the recipient ATA is this, okay, and then you have um, the sender's uh, address. We already have the sender, which is this owner. Okay, the owner is the person that we're trying to make some. Uh, send some things right here. So let me just use, let me just show you something for a, for a start. So then you need to perform this signature. This signature is responsible for the transfer transaction itself. So you say transfer again is coming from Sol Solana tokens. So this transfer you need to specify the connection. You need the signature i mean the payer for this particular trans, uh, transfer so payer means the the person that we pay for the transaction fee okay which is this owner you need the source public key where is this token being transferred from let's say us so say owner dot public key okay and then you say where is this is this um token going to you can then say this recipient ata okay and then you say who is the owner of this particular you know token you know so we want to specify this owner again and lastly the amount that we're transferring times this 
it's almost similar to what we just did here. You can see this mean to, but this time it's transfer to. So we can do something like that here as well. We don't have it here, so we can copy this line of code here and bring it over here. Okay, so now we're supposed to then run this, execute this to see the transfer, right? So, so let's run this and let's see the result on the terminal. Okay, and um, if there is any problem, I'll tell you why there is a problem. So when I execute this, I'm thinking it should produce an error and I'm gonna tell you why. So it's sending to this and it's failing. You see, when you see this sort of error, okay, because one of the things I was wrapping my head around because it wasn't very clear what the error was, okay so you just see in you know error processing instruction invalid account data for tr instruction so when you're seeing this sort of uh, problem it means that one of these accounts it is not an associate token account remember this one is an associate token account we can clearly see because we put it here but the source where this is coming from is not an associate token account so one of the ways we do what we do to prevent this sort of error from happening is to either create it on the fly and get it so we can do something similar to what we did here which is this this here copy this line of code come back here okay so I'm gonna paste this this ATA instead of me getting the you know the um, the recipient associate token account by specifying this way i could actually specify their own original wallet address and then if they already have an associate you know uh token uh, token address then it will just pull that one off without me having to to do that myself so i'm i'm gonna just uh recipient recipient address account instead and one of the things I'm going to do is to copy this. You see, this is the recipient uh, account. This is their Solana account right here. So I'm going to make sure it is this. Then I will get or create their associate token account by just specifying this. We also need to change this as well. So we're transferring to this guy. So um, this is it. We can say recipient ATA. Or we can say call this source source ETA this is a recipient recipient ETA so we also need to do the source ETA so here I could call this place source ETA so this is where the money is coming from this is where it's being sent okay so the source ETA what we need to change here for the source ETA is the owner dot public key so this is the address which the money is coming from the dmc token is coming from you know and this is the address where the um the dmc token is going to okay but the way you specify it here we need to specify source source it a dot address you want to do recipient it a dot address okay so this is how you specify it you know in this place this is the person that is paying for this transaction and this is the this is probably the mint authority just in the same format that we have this to be the mint authority so uh you need all that and uh, let's perform this transaction again to see you know everything works well so let's run that oops we still had a new error. Let's see. I'm thinking that this source ATA doesn't have some token associated with it. So what I'm going to do is momentarily, we're going to uh, comment this out and just log out this information, this source ATA dot address. And also going to log out this one. And we'll check their balances to make sure that 
that they have what it takes to to perform this so let's let's check those things out so this is their public key and this is another public key we already know that this this is a pub this public key has some some tokens in it so i'm going to take this public key i'll come here and let's check it out okay so that it doesn't have so i'm making this particular one the source but it doesn't have you know any dmc token to perform any transaction how about we swap their places if we're going to be permitted for that let's swap their places so and we also know if we have that sort of authority to do so so i'm going to swap their places like this so the this will become the destination the source and this is not the destination i just swap their, their places momentarily to test that something so let's run that to perform that test so it's still failing because we probably are not the owner of that um we are not the owner of that um what's it called of this of this source okay so i'm going to swap it back but then i'm going to mint mint uh mint some tokens to this so i'm going to copy where is that let me go back to this place so this particular token account okay so this is the owner here he doesn't have any token so let's give it some some tokens so i'm going to mint some to him so i'm going to say let's give it uh 17 all right so let's run that okay let's mint some tokens to that particular account first so it's minted if you refresh this place you should have some tokens here okay i have 17 tokens now so let's come back to the code I'm gonna go back here eh? So we have this and now let's perform that transfer token again to see and how much are we transferring? We're transferring five DMC tokens. So let's run that again. Okay. Cool. You see that that is not successful because the criteria are met. We needed to ensure that it has a balance. Maybe that's an assignment to first of all check if a specific wallet address have enough dmc to perform a transaction i think this is things that we're going to you know uh fast into our, our our project when working on the interface you know like web ui to make sure that everything works so now if i refresh this place you see here that my token has gone down by five yeah and you can see the transaction that was added just a moment ago you know it is the same transaction code as this so if i check that you know all that information is stored there and you see the the account that is receiving this token you can see that this is the account that is receiving the token and this is the token at the, the specific token to be precise you see that there is some checks that needs to be done here okay one of the check is that you should have enough balance and you should the, the wallet address that you're trying to send from should belong to you. So you should have the key pair of that wallet address. So those are the criteria you must check before you make your transfer. Otherwise you'll be having all those errors. So you don't, I don't want you to have those errors. That's why I'm showing you all those errors so that you can see it for yourself. All right. So with that done, um, if we click here into this receiving account, you find out that it now have 25 tokens. So that is just uh, the basics, and I hope that you've enjoyed this, you know, this pre preambles, you understand? <laughs> this prerequisites to enjoy the project as we're going. So in the next part of this video, you will start seeing me, you see a long form tutorial where I put all these skills, all these things into action and will build a full-fledged DAP with the wallet address, with the, you know, with the sign-in, and all those things you know that connect wallet button everything will be there on the interface so i will see you in the next set of videos bye bye